Alright, so there has been a huge update to the Chris Tyson situation. For those that haven't seen my many videos about this already, Chris Tyson, who is Mr. Beast's best childhood friend, got exposed for talking to underage people in an explicit way. Today, there has been a huge update where the entire chat log of a Discord server where Chris Tyson was the oldest one there, being 21, and there being a ton of underage minors, has been released for the public to see. Pretty much the drama alert Twitter account was hyping this up all day, saying that there was going to be a huge drop and that it was, you know, was going to end Chris Tyson for good. And to be honest with you, bro, now that this has all have come out, honestly, like it's absolutely set in stone that Chris Tyson is just completely cooked. And honestly, Mr. Beast might be going down with him or her. I, I'm just going to say him for the video again. I don't care. If bro wasn't a weirdo before, this video will just set the final nail in the coffin. But on top of that, there was a tweet by Jake the Viking that said Mr. Beast apparently knew about this whole thing. And Jake the Viking used to work for Mr. Beast. And it turns out that that might actually be the case. Allegedly though, allegedly. Now during this live stream where Drama Alert released all this information, they had a concurrent viewership of over 600,000, which is just absolutely insane. Now these screenshots I'm going to show you today pretty much just allege that Mr. Beast knew that all of this was going on and didn't say anything about it. I just want to start off again by saying that like, th this is all alleged by the way for now. We need to wait for Mr. Beast to respond to this or Chris Tyson to respond to this, not that I think that he will. But with all that being said now, let's actually check out these chat logs because these are absolutely wild bro. So in one of my Chris Tyson videos we talked about Nathan who is one of the victims of Chris Tyson who is coming forward with all of this. Apparently at the time these messages were being sent he was under the age of 18 and a minor and so were a lot of these other people in this discord server. Now there are so many chat logs that were released today but I'm just going to be highlighting the ones that I think are really bad and we're going to be checking these out. Notable chats I have found. Implication of Mr. Beast having his own channel within the discord. Implications that he hung out within the VC. So pretty much these screenshots I'm showing you right now are just like, are just proving that Mr. Beast was actually in this server. So here we have Chris the Meme God, who is pretty much Chris. Scary things, lol, JK, it's Jimmy in the chat room. Now this next one is, nah, he's chilling with me. Haha, <laughs> he does that all the time, that's why I moved him to private, talking about Mr. Beast. Now this next one is Jimmy, wake up, at Mr. Beast. And at everyone, Jimmy is in here, join guys. So this is pretty much proof, I guess, that uh, Mr. Beast was in the server. Again, I can't really say that this is all complete proof because these are just screenshots, but you know, then again, like I, I don't really think anyone's denying that this happened, to be honest. Confirming he was there and typing, Discord, you really need to change your app to 18+, plus. this is actually insane. Every single application should be 18+, plus. blah blah blah. And here we have Mr. Beast's actual account, which uh, Nathan, the, the victim of this situation, alleges that this is actually Mr. Beast's real account. Ethan, Chris, hello. Now, Ethan, who I'm pretty sure he's talking about his editor at the time, Ethan Ethan was pretty much the Mr. Beast editor for the longest time, so, you know, this is probably Mr. Beast. We are supposed to play Rust, where are me bros? So, this is pretty much proof that Mr. Beast was in this Discord server at the time, and after we look at all these screenshots of all these chat logs, you're gonna probably be thinking, why was Mr. Beast in this server and didn't say anything? Because, you know, Mr. Beast in his response to this whole thing pretty much said that, you know, I had no idea that any of this happened, uh, you know, I didn't know that Chris was doing all this stuff, but, you know, apparently Mr. Beast was in this Discord server, so he probably should know. But yeah, this is another screenshot proving that Mr. Beast was in this server. Mr. Beast says, discount left me, I cry. Now we have, why can anyone in this Discord where Chris is the oldest vouch for his p size? Why are they talking about p with children. And we have Mr. Beast saying, no, I know about his P size and it's huge. Chris says, haha, and Mr. Beast joins in to comment about my P size. I love it. Um, yeah, look, a little bit weird that you two are talking about, you know, P size in a server full of minors. I find that to be quite, quite weird. I, I don't know. Yeah, look, bro, I don't know if that's just me, but I find that to be quite, quite silly in my opinion. Now we have, if y'all post something really bad, it could come back on Beast or Chris. This whole Discord is a mess. Several people have acknowledged the age and problems with having a prawn channel, which is unreal. So apparently Mr. Beast and Chris had a prawn channel, which I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about there in this discord server, which is full of minors, by the way, again. So here we have, why does Chris allow NSFW? Why not? It's prawn. And some kids may not know it's NSFW and they will click on it. So people in this discord server were expressing their concerns about the fact that there was an NSFW channel in this server with minors in it, which I mean, yeah, I, I don't really really know how you can defend that. If anyone's sitting here thinking, oh yeah, that's not that bad, uh, I th really think you might need your head checked. Now we have the Chris Tyson situation only gets worse. Chris says, tags, I have a crush on you. And then discount milk says,
says, I want your pee at Chris the Mean God. Chris says, you can have it right now. Now, but I know this se this seems really bad right now, but later on, we're going to get confirmation from Nathan that these two people that Chris are talking about are actually, uh, you know, Chris's age. These aren't minors. However, the fact that this was being talked about in a server full of minors is the problem here. The problem isn't really that, you know, Chris is talking to people his age about it. You know, that's fine. He can do whatever he wants. But it's the fact that he's done this in a server full of minors, which is pretty crazy to me. And now we have another screenshot of Chris just saying, you know, calm your she pee down, just talking about absolutely crazy things in front of minors. And this lava person down here is the same person we were talking about, you know, in, in the other videos I was talking about the Mr. Beast Chris situation. This lava person is 13 years old and was the first victim that, you know, tried to come out, you know, defending Chris Tyson. But then eventually he bowed down and was like, yeah, these are pretty inappropriate. So yes, lava in this screenshot is a minor. So you can see that, you know, these absolutely crazy messages are being sent in a chat full of minors. And again, Lava, who is the 13 year old, is saying, Chris, you have a massive P. Now, uh, guys, why is Lava, the 13 year old, talking about Chris's P when Chris was 21 and Lava was 13? Little bit weird in my opinion. I don't really think that that's something that should be happening. Now, this is where things start to get pretty crazy. Chris shared lollipop with minors. I'm gonna say lollipop for the rest of the video, but I think you guys know what's being what's being what's going on here so this is chris linking shad base now shad base we've talked about so much again if you guys don't really know the backstory of this whole situation please go watch my other videos about this and come back to this one because i don't really want to be explaining it during this video but pretty much chris was linking shad base's account here which is absolutely crazy since shad base is literally a lollipop artist and you know this is a discord server again full of miners nathan claims this was the actual mr beast can involved now this what i was talking about before you know people are saying oh this might not be Mr. Beast's actual account. Well, Nathan is claiming that this was actually Mr. Beast, and so far, Nathan has been pretty trustworthy. Again, like I said, we can't really just take one person's word for it, but I mean, this is pretty solid evidence, I'd, I'd, I'd assume. Now, this is another thing where Chris is just saying, refreshing Shad Base daily, lol, you know, just... Uh, more evidence that, you know, Chris is just absolutely crazy. She was 14. Now, this one is pretty crazy. Chris says she's only 14. Damn. Uh, what do you mean by that, Chris? Um, I'm a little bit confused there. 16 and legal in some states. Oof, of course. If she's 14, I'm 14. Um, okay, that's a little weird. Now, this is Chris talking about, uh, you know, some very silly things with discount milk. Yes, S, and then discount milk goes, if that was something you wanted, I want all that and S, K. KK, uh, again, a little bit weird to be doing that, again, in a Discord server full of minors, Chris. I feel like it's only right that I jump on and say that Tags and Milk were Chris's IRL friends and were also their age. So again, like I was saying before, these people that Chris was talking to in a weird sexual way were actually, you know, Chris's age. But that doesn't really mean anything when Chris was talking to Lava, again, like we talked about in a few videos ago on Twitter, you know, sexually, that was a little bit weird. With that being said, there were still minors in that channel who were able to view these conversations happening frequently which isn't okay in of in and of itself. And that's exactly where the problem lies here. You know, these messages aren't absolutely crazy, but the fact that they were being sent in a chat full of minors is the problem here. Now, look, going back to the Mr. Beast thing here, like, I still really want to give Mr. Beast the benefit of the doubt and, you know, say that he didn't know that all this was going on. But, I mean, this evidence here is pretty crazy, in my opinion. I really can't see a world where you're in the same Discord server as your friend you've been with since high school, right? And then claim you didn't know that any Thing was going on. I just kind of find that hard to believe. Allegedly, by the way, allegedly, if this is all true. But look, so moving on, uh, this is pretty much, you know, more Discord messages. Chris the meme god, lollipop god is back. So they're calling Chris the lollipop god, which is unreal. Now, it's not actually lollipop god, you know what I mean by that. Now, this is Chris coming up with an anime plot, and this is, pr I I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to read all this out, but I'll try read as much as I can. Basically, there's this new high school girl except she's got big Bs, and I mean some serious Hs, a real set of badonkers, packing some blah, 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 what happens next, transfer, shoot, and sweat, yeah. So pretty much Chris is just talking about underage people in a weird way. Now pretty much this screenshot here says, I don't have any issue with this channel, what I have is an issue with the miners that have access to said channel, and this person here has a problem with the fact that there is an NSFW channel in a chat full of miners. And this is Chris's response, what am I, a parent? 
Um, no, you're not a parent, but what you are is an absolute freak. Like, bro, you can't tell me that there isn't a problem with having an NSFW chat in a Discord server, and again, I've said it so many times, I sound like a broken record, but in a chat full of minors, Chris. You can't be doing that. Now, Lava, the 13-year-old, is sitting here saying, I say we get rid of it because of the fan base of Chris and Mr. Beast is mostly under 18. And this is the problem here. These two know, and look, I really want to give Mr. Beast the benefit of the doubt, but it really does seem like that he knew that this is all going on. But like, bro, these guys know that their audience are under the age of 18. They know that their Discord server is full of people under the age of 18. Like seriously, the average Mr. Beast fan, I'd probably say is about 13 years old, if we're being really honest here. And that's probably being generous, to be honest with you. So having an NSFW chat in a Discord like that is just unreal. Like, it is inexcusable. You cannot be doing that. NSFW channels have been on Discord for, no, for, you know, the longest time, but it's mostly supposed to be a thing for people that are over the age of 18, and when the servers are full of adults. This server with Chris and Mr. Beast clearly clearly was not full of people that are adults. They're full of their audience, which are minors. Now, this thing here is apparently Chris doing a little bit of role play. Uh, nuzzles peen. I mean, okay, buddy, that's a bit weird. And then, uwu unzips D. Like, what is this crap, bro? Even if this isn't weird, right? Let, let, let's just take, let's just take out of the account that this isn't a server full of minors. Like, bro, this is just cringe. Like, what am I, what am I reading? Now we have, your emojis are too savage, blah, blah, blah. And then, this meme that Chris sent here was pretty much, uh, I don't, I don't actually have the original, but this meme is like the PlayStation thing where it's like, oh, if PlayStation is 17 years old today, then in two years it'll be legal, blah, blah, blah. Then Chris goes, I like my PlayStations around 13 years old. Uh, saucy face. All right, Chris. Um, yeah, you gotta go to jail, buddy. And now this is probably the worst part and the most damning bit is that this person, Daddy Log, is 12. I don't know who any of you are and this is confusing and scary. I'm only 12. Chris goes, F FBI has joined the chat. Uh, yeah, the FBI has joined the chat and they're looking for a Chris Tyson. I believe the FBI are looking for a Chris Tyson. Now, this next bit is probably the worst bit, to be honest with you. Chris Tyson shared his nudes with minors confirmed. Mr. Beast has a real Chris problem. Now, let's see what's going on here. You on iOS? Uh, you know, no, I ain't no B. Just put my nudes in NSFW. Okay. Now, a lot of this is blacked out, so I don't actually know if this is true. Uh, this is all alleged again, by the way. But if this actually happened, like, you know, Chris is already just dead in the water. Like, you know, there's no coming back from what's happened so far. But that would just be the, you know, the icing on the cake. And the icing is crazy. Just put my nudes in NSF. If that actually happened, then, you know, it's it's all over. Like, it, it's jail time at this point. Okay, so that was a lot. But uh, after all this came out and there was, you know, 600,000 people in this drama alert live stream, Chris's alleged sister came forward with a tweet. Now, you might think that this tweet would be, you know, her defending Chris and saying, you know, oh, this is not that bad. But, uh, no, this is Chris Tyson's sister's tweet here. I'm his sibling, he, and yes, I use the correct pronoun, god damn, base Chris Tyson's sister, told me that he got fully aroused when he secretly stole my female clothes and put them on. What the hell? He's deluded and disturbed and it's 100% a fetish. What is this, bro? He's narcissistic and professionals have told him that he needs to see a full psych event evaluation. I 100% agree. Well, uh, number one, Chris, you need to be locked up and, uh, you need to, you, yeah, you need to have a full psycho psychological evaluation. You definitely need to see a therapist. And honestly, I think we just put Chris away. Like seriously, like what is this? I'm sure there's a whole lot of chat logs that I missed today. So if you guys want to see it, you can go onto Twitter and find them yourselves. I wouldn't say I'm surprised at this point that this has all come out, but God, as someone that used to be a fan of Chris back in the day, like this is, this is really sad to see. Like, I mean, I, I know I'm probably not as affected as people that were close to Chris, but this is still just so sad to see, bro. Anyways, I'm done with Chris Tyson, so click the video on screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it, and I'll see you all over there. Subscribe.